the bolt of Cupid fell. It fell upon a little western flower. Of course, I could have had the headmistress ship myself. Pip said. Philip, his name is really. Philip Parkhurst. He said, uh, why don't you put in for it anyway? Then at least you'll have had the satisfaction of it. But we're getting married as soon as his promotion comes through, so I didn't really think it was worth the bother. Fortunately for me, I suppose. Oh, if you want to look at it like that. Plenty of other schools, though, aren't there? I rather wanted this one. I can't see why. It's not much of a prize. No, but I thrive on challenge. Don't you, Miss Jameson? Banging your head against a brick wall isn't my idea of fun. So, maybe it's different if you intend to spend the rest of your life teaching. I think it's more a matter of temperament. Some people just take the line of least resistance. Oh, I wouldn't want you to think that I don't pull my weight. Miss Holmes always found my work satisfactory. Oh, I'm sure she did. Now, I see here that Miss Sigglesweight had four periods with five A and seven with upper five last year, but none with the fourth. Oh, Sigsy. She can't manage the fourth. Oh, she's quite hopeless. She's as well qualified as anybody in the school, but uh, no flair for handling children. Well, then what has she been doing here all these years? Well, she's not bad enough to be given the boot. And she'd never resign. She's at the top of the scale. Anyway, no other school would take her now. Is she getting on? Oh, 60 if she's a day. Called herself 47, of course. They're all 47 when they get past 50. She knits her own jumpers, dances into class with a great band of cotton camisole showing round her middle. Chirruping away. Oh, girls, girls, would you believe it? The little chiff chaff's back again. And she can't manage the fourth. So their matriculation results are deplorable. What would be your solution to the problem, Miss Jameson? Well, I don't know that you can do anything exactly. I always say the important thing is to equip these girls for living. I mean, most of them are going to go into shops, become nursemaids, help their mothers run lodging houses until they marry. So long as they are high school girls, it doesn't really matter much what they do while they're here, so long as they can say they've been here. Oh, 
Somebody does it. I'm not. Don't you dare be sick in bed. If you feel it coming up, give us a shout. What we've got to remember, Miss Jameson, is that most of these girls come from homes where a book isn't open from one year's end to the next. It's up to us to make them care about such things. Training them for life. We'll have a go at that too, but if we can get them to pass their matriculation, then perhaps they won't need to become nursemaids, work in shops, or marry the first man that looks at them twice. There's not much choice around here. Then we'll give them the power of choice. So that if they don't like their lot, they can change it and go somewhere else. You were from these parts yourself originally, weren't you? Yes, I was. But I'd seen quite a lot of other places before I chose to come back. Where are you from? Oh, my grandmother was Spanish. Quite high-born. It's from her that I inherit my looks. I'm off, Nance. Righto. You don't want any dinner, then? No, no, no. I'm going to see a couple of prospects in Cold Harbour. I'll get a bite of bread and cheese out somewhere. Right. Oh. oh, Mr Mitchell, my mum wants if you're going out on your bike. Ah, yes, I'm going out just now. Oh, well, it's our Gertie, you see. She's ever so sick. Oh. And my mum wonders if you call at Dr Campbell's and ask him to come and see uh, it. He's in Maythorpe, isn't he? Yes, of course, love. Of course. Thanks, I'll tell her. There you are, you see. Once you let them over the doorstep, you've never finished. Now, what if it were Peggy, love? Why don't you pop across, see if there's anything you can do. Bye-bye, then. Hey. <laughs> so, Miss Jameson, if you could take Latin, the first two periods, each afternoon. Kiplington, three, four. Yes, Miss Burton speaking. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Bellows. Yes, oh yes, any time this afternoon. I shall be here till early evening. Good. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, Mrs. Bellows is coming this afternoon. That should be very convenient. Oh, well. She'll have matters of her own in mind. Deputy God, we call her. Invalids nursed, relatives bedded, municipalities and schools run, all for the love of interference. We shall see. Oh. Oh, lunchtime. Well, thank you, Miss Jameson, for the benefit of your local knowledge. I think we've spent a useful morning. Mm, very. Two o'clock? Thank <laughs> you.